Hey, now 530. Here are seven things to know to start your day. Number one, check your freezer for a popular dinner staple for many families. Tyson Foods recalling 69,000 pounds of chicken strip products due to possible pieces of metal. They were produced on November 30th of 2018 and sold in 25 ounce plastic bags or 20 pound cases. If you have any in your freezer, throw them away or return them to the store where you bought them. Number two, a new this half hour, a children's medicine is being recalled due to a bacterial contamination. Infant cough syrup plus mucus made by DG Health was sold at Dollar General stores across the country. The makers of the medicine issued the recall because children who take the product can come down with two forms of gastrointestinal illnesses. Customers should discontinue use of the medicine and return it for a full refund. Number three and new this half hour, North Korea announced today it was pulling out of the joint liaison office it opened with South Korea in September, according to a statement put out Friday by South Korea's Unification Ministry. The statement said South Korea was notified through a liaison officer contact that, quote, North Side is pulling out with instructions from the superior authority, end quote but added North Korea will not mind the South remaining in the office and that it will notify further practical matters in the future. And number four, the UK has more time to come up with an agreement concerning its withdrawal from the European Union. Brexit, as it's known, was scheduled to happen next week. Yesterday, the EU agreed to postpone that until May 22nd, as long as Parliament signs off on the withdrawal deal negotiated by Prime Minister Theresa May. Otherwise, April 12th will be the new Brexit date. Number five, Boeing is taking steps to address concerns about the airworthiness of its 737 MAX jetliner. Since October, the plane has been involved in a pair of deadly crashes that claimed 346 lives. Going forward, all 737 MAX models will include a system that warns pilots of a sensor malfunction. That system had previously been optional. And number six, it's been one week since a gunman killed 50 worshippers at a pair of mosques in New Zealand. Now today, the country remembered the victims with two minutes of silence following the Muslim call to prayer. The memorial came a day after New Zealand moved to ban weapons like those used by the shooter. At number seven, flooding continues along the Mississippi and Illinois River with one of the crests heading into this weekend, but it's going to fluctuate here over the next several weeks as those river levels continue.